this is just to give you a flavor for the actual setup uh, these are the pressure tuners uh, that slightly change the wavelength that the telescope records in or sees in then I've got this which is an electronic eyepiece so I've got a, a much nicer variant of that which I'm hopefully can do the imaging with and that's how much you can actually see on the uh, screen there so sadly for most of this video I actually have my head under a shirt and it kind of rubs up against the microphone so the sound is not the best for the rest of this video but the video itself is actually quite interesting. It is live from the surface of the sun today. And you see these little flesh? It's almost impossible for me to see what the hell I'm doing because I'm out in the full daylight here. And it's almost impossible to see what's going on the screen. So I have some really quite cute little flare systems by the edge of the sun. There. And if we go over to the other side of the sun, there's a really bright active bit. So I'm just testing out some um, more flares coming around the side of the sun here. Uh, I'm testing out some old. Ah, oh, is that? Is that? Was it? Is a smudge on the screen? No, it's just smudge on the screen. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm testing out some old kit. Um, I've actually got a much nicer video camera to use than this. It's just it's not working at the moment, which kind of sucks. Um, uh, what I one of my plans for this year is I want to do a time of one of these flare systems. So these are what the flare systems look like when they're you're looking straight down on top of them. There's little cool regions. Uh, this telescope sees in just one wavelength of light, the H alpha. Things we've seen a fairly decent focus at the moment. Uh, let's see. I can actually show you some flares, because I know there are some flares there at the moment. Some flares right on the edge of the sun, but I'm going to have to change uh, the brightness of the game or something. Let's try the game. Oh, look at those. Look at that. So I want to get a nice video of these boys. Uh, a lot of them move over the period of certainly you'll see it over 20 minutes or something. But uh, any more? Yeah. 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 So you should be able to get some really fairly decent video of the flares. Oh, I think I'm more than that. Oh, I just need to be a little more aggressive with my use of gain and contrast. Oh, that's a little too bright. So the other thing I can do is I can tune the wavelength. This telescope is using just one wavelength of light. I think at this point, you'd probably be able to see that he... Let's center up on him, see if we actually do any better. I got a is it's almost as bad as trying to do astronomy at night, in that when you're doing it at night, it's really hard to... See what you're doing because it's all dark. Here, the problem is it's too much light. So, if I tune this out, you actually see different aspects of the flare system. You know, when you're looking down on the surface of the sun, you see different depths of uh, contrast. Doesn't seem to do a lot. Like I'm saying, I'm a bit of a noob at this. So exposure, let's turn down the game a bit. Let's try and tune them up a bit. Okay, let's just go around the edge of the sun again. Because I'm sure actually. Okay. There's some flare activity, but it's faint. Uh, 
Okay, that's probably as good as I've got them. That's right, I'm going to lose some of the game. So these two are actually sort of generic features. Uh, when you get the flares and you look down on them from above, you see that. So what you'll yeah, if you watch this from one day to the next, can't hold the panel in the right orientation. Plus left and right, up and down don't do what you expect. So anyway, you see the um, the dark features here. Uh, when they're on the edge of the sun here, sun's rotating this way, I think. Um, takes about a month to rotate. You see the flares on day one. Then as it comes around, you see the... Uh, the dark patches, and then when it gets right down to the edge, you see these little guys who we were looking at later, just as there. And then, last of all, just again around the back of the sun, you see the flares again. Let's try and shoot up on this boy. If I let more and more light through, I can always just pull it back on the exposure. Saturating out of that, but now that is the source of all of our energy. Well, except the nuclear in the ground. So all this, my head is actually stuck under a blanket and I'm fumbling around with the telescope. Uh, and it really is harder to do this than it can because you just can't see the screen at all. Anyway, so there's a nice big flare system as the clouds going across and I Actually, now let's take a look at that little hot spot. So there we have the dark area. There was a hot spot, wasn't there? There's the hot spot. Not quite sure what hot spots are, but they're really bright. Oh, look at that. That is about the size of the Earth. Tiny little, tiny little lot. Let's see if I can fumble around here and find the focus. Oh, I think that's the clouds coming over. Oh, I think that might be it. That's, that's a big cloud that's just come over. Wow, that's actually a thunderstorm. Okay, I think I might call it quits of that. As you can see, it's quite difficult to see what the hell's going on. You've got to fumble around down here with your head under a blanket. And at the moment, that's the sky. So, there's this big, aggressive cloud over there.